RSO, ROA. RSO, go ahead. Provide pad 250K launcher, preliminary when weighted settings. Pad 250K launcher, pre preliminary settings are azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. Azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. Good read back. Copy, LC, ROA. This is LC. Set 50K launcher to preliminary settings. Confirm settings, azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this launch of a Terrier-improved Orion sounding rocket for the Rock On mission from Wallops Island in Virginia. This mission is carrying experiments from over 50 student teams. There are 27 Rock On workshop teams from various community colleges and universities from across the country. Cubes in Space, a program for students aged 11 to 18, that will be launching their scientific payloads alongside college students from five other university teams participating in the Rocks at Sea Challenge. Today's launch window opens at 5.30 a.m. and closes at 9.30. Two. Copy that, LC. Check nine zero. And RSO TD, step ninety one, we're ready. RSO, we are currently green, hazard area is clear. Copy, check item 9-1. TD is PM. Over TD. So hold point if necessary. I don't think a hold is necessary, so check item 92. TD is PM, permission to begin, terminal count. Proceed as requested. Copy check This is ROA. This is NRW-6381 Terrier Mark 12 Improved Orion launching from Pad 250K Launcher. Please stand by for station checks. All stations should announce status as go or no go on channel one. RC? RC go. MNO? MNO go. Programmer? Programmer go. LWO? LWO go. LC? LC go. RCE. RCE go. SCO. SCOs go. PLC. PLC go. LPM. LPM go. MM. MM go. SRPO. SRPO go. PM. PMs go. RSO. RSO go. TD. TDs go. All stations are responsible for reviewing the go-no-go -go criteria listed in the OD. Only stations annotated with an asterisk and previous step are permitted to call a hold. All the sites report red. Check item 9-5. MNO, this is PM on one. Go ahead. 
confirm timing switches for high-speed cameras enabled. And work. High-speed camera circuit switches are on. Roger. If you haven't been on, you can check step 96. Copy. Check 96. Today's mission is launching on a Terrier Improved Orion rocket. This is a two-stage rocket, meaning it has two separate engines that fire in sequence to reach higher altitudes. All the motors or stages are powered by solid fuel, which will burn very quickly, launching the rocket at a very fast speed. The payload containing all the student experiments weighs about 663 pounds. Sounding rockets are typically used to gather information about specific phenomenon or to test new technologies or instruments in a space-like environment. Sounding rockets are not designed to reach orbit or stay in space for an extended period of time. They're designed to reach suborbital altitudes, typically between 50 and 1500 kilometers above the Earth's surface, before returning to the ground. This rocket is expected to be reach a maximum altitude of 173 kilometers before splashing back down in the Atlantic Ocean. On board today's rocket are experimental payloads from 27 different community college teams and university teams who participated in the Rock On program. The Rock On students spent the past week at Wallops where they were guided through the process of building their experiments from scratch. The Rock On experiments are all the same and this program acts as an opportunity for students to participate in developing an, experience, an experiment to be flown in space. Along with the Rock On experiments, the rocket is also carrying rocks at sea student experiments from six colleges and universities so as well as away. the Cubes in Space program for students 11 to 18. Arso, go ahead. Provide pad 2, 50K launcher, final wind weighted settings. Pad 2, 50K launcher, final wind weighted settings are azimuth 107.7, elevation, 84.2. Copy azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. Good read back. Check 98. LC ROA. This is LC, go ahead. Your 50K launcher final wind weighted settings are azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. ROA, LSC, 50K launcher settings are azimuth 107.7, elevation 84.2. Copy that, check 9-9. Nine, nine. RC is PM on one. RC, go. Yes, interrogate transponder. ROA, RSO, correction. Good five code. In work. Go ahead, RSO. Pad 2, 50K launcher final wind weighted settings are azimuth 107.2, elevation 84.2. Copy that, RSO. LC, ROA. This is LC. Go ahead. PM's RC, channel 1. Go ahead, RC. Good 5 code. Copy, good 5 code. Check 101. LC correction on 50K launcher, final wind weighted settings, azimuth 107.2, elevation 84.2. In work. Good morning, everyone. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining us for this launch of a Terrier Improved Orion sounding rocket launch 
for the Rock On mission from Wallops Island, Virginia. The launch window does open at 5.30 a.m. and goes all the way through 9.30. Good read back. The Rock On mission is an annual mission that this year is carrying experiments from over 50 different student teams. The Rock On workshop teams have their experiments on the rocket as well as the Rocks at Sea teams, which are five different universities and colleges as well as the Cubes in Space students. Check items 102, 104, 105, and 106. RCPM. RC, go ahead. Yes, sir. Confirm. Transponder. Good. On this rocket will be launching from the Wallops Flight Facility located on the eastern shore of Virginia. Wallops has launched rockets since 1945 when it was run by NASA's predecessor, NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Since the 1960s, Wallops Island, housing both the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport and Wallops Flight Facility, has been launching um, different rockets for scientific, military, and commercial uses. Two minutes. One minute. Check item 109. MM announces payload status is go. Thirty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One mark. Red oil the dragon. Plus ten. Red oil plus twenty. Rotate his own boost as well. Plus 30. Plus 40. Plus 50. One minute. 
Three and ten is back on the main payload. Thank you for joining us for this on-time launch of the Rock On mission here at Wallops uh, Flight Facility in Virginia. Stay tuned on our social media accounts to see payload recovery later today and stay up to date on other launches this summer. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you join us on, here on the Eastern Shore of Virginia for the next launch.